Chaos is the first scientific mission in which Switzerland and the University of Bern play a leading role. The scientific goal of the mission is to measure the radii of exoplanets, i.e. planets outside the solar system for which we already know the mass. Once we know the mass and the radius of the planet, we can calculate its average density. And based on the average density, we can determine the characteristics of the internal structure of the planet. Actually, CHAOPS is a flying space telescope with a mirror 33 centimeters in diameter and a total length of about 1.5 meters. Once we have assembled the various parts of the telescope, which are manufactured and sent to us by our partners in Switzerland and abroad, we will test and calibrate the entire telescope in a special lab specifically built for this mission. Pfeiffer Vacuum is creating a vacuum chamber for the Kiops project, which is unique in Switzerland in terms of its size and complexity. The thermal and optical tests will be carried out in high vacuum in order to assess the interaction of the individual parts and to calibrate the instrument. The specific design for this vacuum chamber would make it possible to carry out more sophisticated space projects in the future. Almatech employs 25 staff and was established around five years ago by a management team with some 20 years of experience. This has now been supplemented by young engineers from the Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, making for an exceptionally efficient mix. We are very proud to have been selected to work on the structure of the KOM satellite. Almatech has been entrusted with all dimensional and stability calculations for these structures and also with their manufacture, with the exception of the composite components which will be produced by Canova in Vilmergen. Almatech will also take care of construction and integration in the clean room and oversee the environmental tests, which will be carried out in various European countries. Almatech is also responsible for delivery to the University of Bern and final acceptance. Canova is responsible for manufacturing the entire KOP structure. We start with manufacturing the row CFK panels. We then uh, assemble the panels to its um, designed uh, structure. Uh, this includes uh, structural bonding, integration, final assembly and quality assurance. Key factors are absolute reliability in manufacturing processes, traceability of materials, a clean working environment. We operate in a class five working environment as well as the experience of the people working on KOPS. Konova's Swiss location is therefore an ideal platform to implement such a challenging project like KOPS. Ruag Space wird zu KOPS mit zwei Aktivitäten. Ruag Space contributes to KIOPS with two kinds of activities. On the one hand, Ruag engineers will cooperate with the satellite manufacturer as part of the integrated teams throughout the entire campaign. On the other hand, we will carry out key environmental tests, such as vibration tests here at Ruag Space Test Center. At APCO Technologies, our speciality is to develop ground support equipment uh, for launchers and satellites, as well as mechanisms and structures for uh, spacecrafts. On the satellite KEOPS, we are in charge of the spacecraft structure, which will be designed, developed here at EGG and produced in our brand new facilities just behind me. So we are very proud to be part of this adventure is a very nice Swiss project managed by the University of Bern. The Genfer Sternwarte is führend im Bereich der Exoplaneten. The Geneva Observatory is of particular importance for KEOPS in the dynamic field of exoplanets and more specifically in the field of smaller, lighter planets. Working here in Geneva, the two scientists, Michael Mayer and Didier Quillos, discovered the first exoplanet around a star outside our own solar system in 1995. That was a very special moment. One can only imagine the fantastic atmosphere. 
At the same time, a second endeavour started for the Geneva astronomers, with the provision of the Science Data Centre for the integral satellite of the European Space Agency. Here is where we have the Scientific Data Centre. We have here the Wissenschaftliche Datenzentrum for integral einen Satellit from uh, ESA. Und aufbauend auf der kontinuierlichen und, und guten Arbeit, die wir dann hier geleistet haben über viele Jahre. Based on our good and continuous work, we were able to build not only scientific but political confidence as well. Both are important in receiving new projects. One of these new projects is Kiops, where we are in charge of the overall coordination for the ground segment and are responsible for the provision of scientific operation center. We work with about 10 scientific groups and industrial partners in seven European countries, all ESA member states. Wissenschaftlichen Gruppen und industriellen Partnern auch, die in sieben europäischen Ländern alle ESA Mitgliedstaaten verteilt sind. Nachdem der Satellit dann Ende 2017 gestartet wurde, werden After the launching of the satellite in late 2017, we will be responsible here in Geneva for the management of the planning for the observations. We will receive the data collected from the observation of the stars and make them available to all scientists in Europe and around the world after processing and archiving. Wissenschaftlern zur Verfügung stellen, Wissenschaftler in Europa und in der ganzen Welt. Es ist für uns eine große Herausforderung unter der Rahmenbedingungen, die von der ESA gestellt worden sind. Developing this mission is a huge challenge for us under the conditions provided by the ESA. Namely, a relatively small budget compared to other ESA missions, 10%, and a very short time frame of only four years. However, we are right on schedule and within the budget, and we hope to be ready by 2017 to make Kiops a great success. Kiops is a double first for the European Space Agency, as well as for Switzerland for the European Space Agency because it is the first small mission of this scientific program and for Switzerland because this is the first time we are sharing responsibility throughout a space mission. In addition, it is an excellent vehicle for cooperation between other disciplines and the industry, both nationally and internationally. As part of this project, we lead a consortium of 11 ESA member states. And let's not forget that all our neighbours are involved in connection with different parts of the instrument, namely the telescope. These include notably Germany, Austria, Italy and in terms of scientific operations, France.